Well, we're here to find out who is Tendai Mzungu. Tendai, um, let's just clarify something first. A few of the commentators uh, tend to get your name a little bit wrong. Can you just uh, tell us how it's supposed to sound? Uh, yeah, my last name's Mzungu. So, um, yeah, there's a few different versions out there. There's an A slip in there, an O at times. Mzungu gets the ball. But yeah, it's Mzungu, so pass that on, please. Yeah. My heritage is I've got an African father from Zimbabwe uh, and an Australian mother, but um, the true meaning of Mzungu is the spirit, but um, the actual more common version is uh, the white person usually gets called a Mzungu, so um, yeah, it's a bit interesting. So um, you were born in Melbourne, how much do you remember about your time there? I've got yeah really good memories of Melbourne. I came over when I was nine, so I was pretty young. But um, yeah, I had some really good friends from over there, and um, good memories of footy, and did athletics over there. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't remember an awful lot, but what I do, yeah, it's really positive. How did the move to Perth come about? Uh, my my mum was born over here, so um, my my dad moved up to the Gold Coast, and we were sort of Melbourne, and we thought, you know, well, I suppose she she thought she wanted to be closer to her family, and. You know, as kids, we you know do what mum does, and yeah, we we moved over, and um, the moment we got here, we loved it, and um, yeah, I'm really happy to be here. We're going to talk a bit about your dad, Simon. Now, tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, well, he came over to Australia when he was to Melbourne when he was, um, I think, he was a teenager or early twenties, and um, yeah, he he met my mum, and um, obviously they split up when I was quite young, so I don't remember an awful a lot of them together, but um, yeah, that. The relationship I've had with him has been great, although distant, um, you know, in in areas. Um, he certainly, you know, always supported me, and um, you know, we we do speak, and and he he loves my footy and follows me, and always has, which is which is really good, and um, you know, he's got a lot of love to give to to both me and my brother and um, his other two children. So yeah, it's a, it's a yeah, it's a nice relationship. But he's also quite smart. He's doing a PhD. Yeah, he has. He just finished his thesis, so um, yeah, soon he'll be. A, a doctor, Dr. Som Mzungu, so that's, uh, yeah, it's, I'm really proud from him, you know, that he's been studying pretty much his whole life, so he's, he's pretty knowledgeable and, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, things grow from there. Has he been to see one of your games up on the Gold Coast? Yeah, he's seen, he saw my debut, which was really good to have him come over and first game of footy he'd seen for a long time, so to, to be uh, him to come over and watch my first game was really special, uh, all my family was there. Uh, and then, yeah, the last two years we've played in Gold Coast, which has been great, and he's been able to come down and get in the rooms and you know, experience what it's, what it's like for me and, and to be a part of it. Your mum, Susan, you're very close with her, aren't you? Yeah, she's, she's been great, biggest influence on my life, not just footy, but um, yeah, so she, you know, she's obviously done the predominantly raising me and my brother, and um, you know, I can't speak highly enough of her as, as most people do about their mothers, but um, you know, she's, she's great and she's you know, been there for the ups and downs. And, um, yeah, I do owe her a lot. You lived, with, you lived with her until recently, didn't you? I did, yeah. I was, thought I was never going to leave for a while. I think she was starting to worry that I was going to hang around. But, um, yeah, no, she's, you know, <laughs> I suppose you get used to getting looked after and, um, you know, she would do everything for me. So it was, it was pretty hard to leave in the end. But, um, you know, obviously she comes to all the games and has me around for dinner and, um, you know, always in contact with her. So it's, it's nothing really changed too much. Let's move on to high school. Uh, where did you go and what kind of student were you? I went to Kent Street. Um, yeah, what kind of student? I was probably, I was a bit cheeky. I've always been a bit cheeky. Um, it's probably giving my teachers a little bit of grief at times. But um, yeah, I was always, you know, laughing at the back and having a good time. But um, I like to think that my, you know, I did study quite, quite well and my grades were, you know, at a, at an okay level. Um, probably didn't excel as well as I could. But um, yeah, I was pretty friendly. I think I got along with everyone quite well. All right, now, Ten, I managed to uncover a photo from your, uh, your school ball. Um, I can show you this. Can you tell us what is going on there? <laughs> That's a belter. Um, yeah, I had a, <laughs> I had a big afro back then. Um, before the dreads, was, that was a fashion at school. It had to, had to be different, so um, gee, I'm pretty fat as well. I, haven't really <laughs> I was a late bloomer, as you can probably tell. Um, yeah, I used to, used to comb the hair up and you know, get a bit of a laugh. Didn't do much with the girls, but um, yeah, the boys loved it, so um, bashed around with that haircut for a little bit. Fair enough. All right, your uh, girlfriend, Jess, uh, how long have you guys been together and how did you meet? <laughs> we, we met about uh, two and a half years ago, probably. We met through a friend and um, yeah, got to know each other and from the get-go, you know, we hit it off and 
she was, she's been great. She's, um, she's really bubbly like myself, which, is, which makes things easier. And I've uh, failed to mention her in the last two doigs, so um, she's, <laughs> she's a bit upset about that. So if you can just maybe give her a mention on this, that'd be great. But. And you're learning the guitar together, is that right? We, <laughs> we were. We, we, began a, we began a course for probably, oh, we did about a month, and I told you know I was pretty excited. I went and told Luke, Luke McFarlane, obviously plays a bit of guitar, and I was, you know ran in and said oh, I'm learning guitar, and he just looked at me, shook his head, and said it won't last because he's had he reckons he's had about ten or fifteen blokes over the years come in and tell them the same sob story about how they've you know got too much time, could got to them, and so yeah, unfortunately I was one of those people who, who couldn't follow it through, and um, so yeah, we'll see how we go. Might pick it back up later in life. What is it you want to do after footy and what are some of the things you're doing right now outside of footy to help you achieve that? I'm doing a dip out at the moment, um, which you know I want to eventually end up at a school and, and try and influence kids and give them a, you know, their, the same love of sport I have and um, teach them obviously good morals and things like that. So I'm also just starting at Wesley, doing a um, bit of work down there with their um, footy team and their phys ed department and stuff like that. So I'm um, just trying to get myself you know, give myself the best opportunity post-football.